Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Nail it. Nail it. How are we getting on? Are we live? Are lives and kickings? Mm -hmm. Yay! Finalement. everybody hello hello sorry for the slight delay we had a lot of gremlins kicking around in the network tonight so we had to had to reboot and get sorted hi Nessa how you doing and Sarah Louise is here as well hello hello and Ashley hey everybody um I Thank you, Craig. Your tea's in the kitchen. I'm just putting away some stuff that's been on my craft desk because um, a few days ago, Amanda Fitterer, my, our design team coordinator, she was going to um, a condo that she has, a new one, to sit in and wait for a delivery of furniture. And I said, bring some craft supplies. And seeing as you're going to be there on your own, give me a call and we'll craft together. So we did, it was awesome. So we had a little crafty session, a little sneaky, sneaky crafty session together. And to be fair, I did mostly chatting, <laughs> but I did make a cute birthday card and use these peekaboo pals. Um, I think they're from Avery L. Are they from Avery L? Just put it away and everything. Uh, yeah, Avriel, Peekaboo Pals. I think they're adorable. They're so cute. Hi, Kelly. Nice to see you. Um, and for this, I actually used some Simon inks because I have a whole drawer over there of Simon inks and I do not use them enough. So maybe, just maybe, I will see about getting or playing with some of them tonight. <laughs> Earlier today, I asked Piper to come out and do some laundry and she was taking ages. And I asked her what she was doing and she went, laundry, nothing. And I just found this next to a paint pen. So I'm guessing she actually was getting a little bit distracted. <laughs> little cutie. All right. How's everybody doing? Have you had a good week? Are you prepared for Christmas? Dun, dun, dun. Um, I don't have any plans for tonight. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a stamp roulette roulette tonight and I was thinking that maybe um, well it depends what comes out but I'm, if, if I'm in the mood I might try and turn it into a Christmas card oh no I think I just buffered are you guys can you oh okay we're back keep me in the loop there's definitely gremlins in our network tonight drive me nuts so we won't stick to just Heffy Doodle, we will do um, lots. So from the large stamp sets, we'll do it all, all the companies. So the large st stamp sets will probably be from one till about uh, 160, I think is probably gonna, gonna cover us. And then the small ones, I actually got rid of a load of small ones. So probably one to 60. Um, it might be slightly less than that, but we can give that a go. Sarah Louise said, has your Gemini plate appeared yet? Well, remember last week I said that I had ordered it and it was supposed to arrive on Friday and then it didn't and it said it was going to arrive on Tuesday. Well, it arrived first thing on Saturday morning. So I was happy that I got it. 
and I cracked it out this week to, to make this card but I still haven't found the one that was missing and the thing is I have no idea where it could be because I've looked where I think everywhere but who knows there's that many boxes in here it's crazy oh Miss Salarup Miss Salarup <laughs> it says hello all the way from Denmark hello 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 okay so we've got some numbers coming in I'm gonna pop this up here at the top beside my come craft with me and for those of you who are new and don't know what the heck is going on um i'm taking a selection of um my, my stamps to trim in um, little bins we've got l47 and s17 i'll start with those so that means i'll go to my large stamp bins and i'll count back to 47 and then pick out that stamp and see what happens one two three four All right. Actually, number 47 has a Christmas tree on it, so that might work out well. Let's pop this over to the side so it's not getting in the way. And S17 um, will be our, my small stamp set, so let's see what comes from there. This is hard. <laughs> so I have a bike, but I also have a balloon, some stars, and then I have Bon Voyage, Enjoy the Journey, that might work. And um, I have a little um, suitcase. Oh, I know, this little, so this came with this die. I remember now, I had actually completely forgotten about this. So this meant that you could like have the little dog peeking out of the basket, which is really cute. So maybe we could do a, the dog and the cat coming out of the truck. That might be cool. And uh, Nessa has said S5. So I'm gonna pull it anyway, and we'll see if we can make that work. Okay. So this one is from scrapbook.com and it has some sentiments in it. Thinking about you, we have an exo, we have a mass of hugs and a sending. Wish I could be there to hug you in person right this very minute and hoping this note brightens your day. And then we've got and best wishes. So I think we can come up with something together with these. And we'll try and make that worked. Let me get my Misty to start off with. And we will stamp. I think we're going to have to go for the truck. So this is a Honey Bee stamps, stamp set and it's called Little Pickup. And the rule for stamp roulette, uh, self-imposed roulette, um, is that I have to use at least one thing from each envelope, but it can be simply a, like a heart. I could just do like a heart if I wanted to. Um, but this is a really good way if you guys 
kind of sometimes feel can feel it can be feeling overwhelming sometimes whenever there's just too much choice and you don't know where to start i certainly feel like that a lot of the time in particular when i don't make a plan for crafting and i want to get going if if i don't do something like stamp roulette what ends up happening is I sit and I think and I think and I think some more and then it it's just it ends up that I get paralysis <laughs> essentially okay so I've got my tree let's try a little rustic wilderness on this tree and I'll use the oxide because the oxide stamped a lot better. I'll give that a go. We've got Sarah Louise here. They're pretty good picks for Stamp Roulette. They are actually. But then it all comes down to your inspiration, doesn't it? Candy says, I'm here, but chat isn't available on my TV, so I may not chat a ton. That's all right. Lovely to have you, Candy. Love you. Marcy says she loves Stamp Roulette. <laughs> Candy too. Oh, that looks great. That looks really cool. I feel like I want a bit more kind of dimension to it um a bit more depth is maybe the right term so let me grab a little bit of pine needles just to bring more of those sort of blue tones to this and i'll just um tap it sort of willy-nilly for want of a better term and then i'll take my i'll take my wipey and just tap it over a little bit just to break up any like harsh lines that are on here from the edge of the ink pad and stamp that down on top and hopefully that'll just give a little bit of variation on that hi Bronwyn nice okay maybe hard for you guys to see you see there's like a little bit of two-tone action going on now so I'm really liking that Miss Alarip says it's a great idea. It also makes you use both newer and older stuff. Absolutely. Um, I really like doing that if, let's say, I have a new release with Happy Doodle. And sometimes um, in the release, it tends to be like little collections almost that uh, are sort of designed and they go really well together. But then I want to stretch it out. And I'm like, I know I'm going to use my unicorns but let's see if i can pair it with something else and stamp it out is a really good way to do that okay so i have stamped my little christmas tree and there's also the presents they're cute too i'm going to attempt to stamp a little doggo and a little cat. Now these are not photopolymer stamps, so they may not even stick to my. Oh, barely hanging on there. They're silicon stamps. This was a this, as you can probably tell, was a freebie with a magazine. So they all tend to be cheap and cheerful, lower quality stuff. I don't normally keep a lot, but sometimes if I if it speaks to me or I think it's particularly cute, I'll go, ah, I might use that one day. Inevitably, I rarely do, <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm able to do it tonight. Hopefully, it's not sticking back onto there. Fall enough. Um, I do like the sentiments on here as well. We're going to go for these sentiments. Let's color this in. What co pickup truck color shall we go for? Part of me is thinking like a rustic brown color. I 
almost like an orangey color. But maybe if we want to go for something a little bit more holiday themed, maybe a red would be better. What do you guys think? I'll go brown for a little doggo anyway. He's so cute. And then I think we'll go for some gray for the cat. Not much on the cat, to be honest. It's such a tiny little stamp. I think it's adorable. A rusty red. All right, let's go for a rusty red color. Uh, I'm gonna use my cry blends. I'm going to at least attempt to use these to color this in. Where is this? Is there another red? Coral, coral shade, coral blend, okay. So I've made some, I guess, blobs is probably the term that I would use um, for the lighter color, just to give me a little bit of guidance. And then I'll come in with the lightest color in my darker pen. So in the tri blends, you have got shades. This is coral shades, and then this one is called coral blend. Now I, I don't know whether there's like all the colors have both the shades and the blends, but certainly the blends seem to be the same tone as the shades, but in a lighter in a lighter um, well shade, I guess. stamp actually has some little lines on it so that's good for kind of helping you follow along some of the edges I'm a bit confused with this bit under the the wee larch though i think we're going to go for gray on that one how is that working out oh let me catch up 
Jasmine says, evening. Just popping in for a short while as I've only just finished work. Oh my goodness. Large line says, just checking in saying hi. Can't stay. We're decorating the tree and watching the Santa Claus and enjoying some Gluhein. Is that like wine? What is that? Or like, is it like an eggnog thing? I don't know what that is. You'll have to share. I'm glad that you're spending some time as a family. Big fan of that. Absolutely. All right, let's get some shades. <laughs> I love you all, says my line. Um, Jasmine says they don't have shades for all the blends. Thanks, Jazz. That sucks because that would be really cool. <laughs> now let's add, what have we got here? Brown gray in underneath these wee arches. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of greys in some areas. Just help add a little bit of depth. Make it pop a bit more. Also, we want that rusty color. Is it rusty enough for you guys? <laughs> yes, how is Kendrick feeling after the, the scare that you guys had? Absolutely crazy. So I'm going to go for probably a similar uh, red in here, although now that I've done this, I'm thinking it probably would have been silver, maybe. But we can make that work, that's fine. And I'm going to cut this out, I don't have dies for these guys. That's the, the reason why things never really get used, <laughs> is if it doesn't have the die. I'm less likely to use them, because I'm lazy. So let's cut this out. So guess what happened to me on Wednesday? I was wrapping up a box to post out to a retailer. And um, you know Sellotape has a, like the dispenser where you can pull it and it has, a, you know, you, you pull it off you can rip it off, there's like a metal blade on it, you can pull it off. Well, the parcel tape that we have, um, the thick parcel tape, we have a dispenser like that. And I, I pulled off a, like a strip of tape like this, and then went to just push down the tape so that it would, you know, catch and tear off. And as I pushed down, the actual dispenser um, like lost its balance, I guess, and fell off the side of the dresser and sliced right the way through my thumb. Look at that. I'll not show you an up close picture because you may, some of you may not appreciate that. But I like yelped and was like, help to Craig came running downstairs with blood everywhere. And um, I thought I was gonna have to go to the doctor at all 
glued up or whatever. It's quite deep. Um, but I had to put pr quite a lot of pressure on it and it, it clotted over, which was quite nice. But, oh boy, it is sore. That day I, could, I couldn't even lift something like this. Any sort of touching it was just so painful. And um, luckily now I can, I can touch things, but any pressure is just mm. up actually than it is at the bottom, but it's like it's right the way in. It was a big ouchie, yeah. But I'm okay. Worse things have happened. <laughs> Let's cut out this little tree. Cute little tree. So I'm going to leave this section at the bottom because I'm going to need that to um, adhere that into my truck. How cool is that? And let's see if we can chop out the cute little doggo. And the kitty kitten. Ooh, that was sore. So over the last few days, <laughs> I've been having to, my dad, having to like do things without like touching them with my thumb. So I have to like lift things like this. So if you see me lift things like this, it's just cause my thumb is throbbing cause after a little while it gets throbbing or I hold it, I hold it down here on the knuckle and it looks really awkward. <laughs> and my husband see me, he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, it looks so peculiar. It's like, it's sore. Of course, it's in a really awful place as well. I keep accidentally opening it up again. Okay, I have my kitty and I have my dog. Awesome, the kitty could almost go in the window. <laughs> that would be super cute. Should we put the kitty in the window? Or is that weird? What do you guys think? Jasmine says, I messaged you on Messenger. Take a look when you get a chance. Oh, I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, maybe it's coming in. Oh, here it comes, all the things. All right, I'll figure that out later. So we've got our little pickup truck and we have our dog in there. So the question is, do we put the cat in the back as well? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Or shall we put the cat in here? Or we could put the dog in there, I suppose. We'll have to just imagine that. I, I think the way his arms are, they look like he would be driving. So I don't know whether we want him driving. Is that weird? Maybe that's cute. I can't tell. <laughs> I'll let you guys have a think and we could do send maybe we could do sending like Christmas hugs or something like that sending Christmas hugs how does that sound 
hoping this little note brightens your and then Christmas we could have that hope this little note brightens your Christmas sending let's see so if you use this one I'm going to pop that over to the side I do like the fact that the hugs is nice and big or we or we could have sending holiday hugs sending winter hugs hmm lots of options Marcy says my cat would want to be in the cab <laughs> if he's not driving why is the pause up there I think the pause are supposed to be like on the side you know <laughs> it does look like he's driving says someone maybe we could have him okay so if we're going to have one of our critters <laughs> taking the wheel I'm going to first of all grab just a cut and plate will do and I'm going to slice along the bottom of my window like a saw and try not to cut myself don't need any more injuries Suzanne says love the color in the truck thank you so much Okay, so oh, sometimes it's so sore. I'm starting to throb now as well. I've obviously poked it with something. So kitty cat could be like this. <laughs> it looks so cute. <laughs> we could have a kitty cat in there. Oh, I actually really like that. Or we could have a little doggo. No, oh, he's not gonna fit up that way without severe. Would the dog work behind the tree with his paws on the roof? Do you mean, oh, like this? think oh well maybe could be could be over there and the cat here <laughs> I just think it looks really cute right let's get um so I want the word Christmas or something to that effect let's have a look I can find something Christmassy. These ones are all quite small. And I think of all my Christmas stamps, which, if you know, is not a lot. Okay, um, I have a in my tea freebies, I have Christmas here, sending Christmas hugs. We could go for that. What was the other one? Hoping this little note brightens up your Christmas. I think that would. It doesn't look like it would work together. Ouch. <laughs> Suzanne says, isn't that so cute? I think so too. Now I'm going to get a little bit of twine, I think, or um, a little... bit of thread oopsies thread overboard I don't need purple but I'm gonna get this brown thread I think I'm 
if I can find the edge of it, that is. Because when you get a tree, it's all tied up. Although, to be fair, I have never, ever gone to get tree. <laughs> when, I w when I was very young, we would have a real tree, but I think I was too young to go get it. My dad would just go get it, maybe my brothers. There's only, only so many people you can fit in the car with a tree. <laughs> um, and then I remember my mom just getting super annoyed with the the pine needles falling everywhere <laughs> so by the time I was of a significant age we had no longer had a tree <laughs> that was real it was just a fake tree But last Friday I was out at my um, like physio appointment thing. Oh, my thumb is super throbbing. And um, as I was driving home, I got really excited because there was so many cars as I was driving along and they had their Christmas tree on the top. It was just adorable. All right. so. I'll need you guys to tell me what your thoughts are because maybe this takes away the cuteness. What do you think? With the thread or without the thread? Little kitty is definitely staying there. I'm going to use my glue burk to stick that down. Let's get a card for this. I'm going to not have top folding. I'm going to have side folding. Suzanne says with thread, all right. With thread it is. Like so. Right, let's get my. Oh, my thumb is really throbbing now. I obviously stuck something in the side of it. We'll get my. Misty back out for the job. And we're going to have. This little guy here. Oh, I think I'll have sending Christmas hugs. And this is happy Christmas, but I'm just gonna chop it in half to be honest so just have the word Christmas don't worry you can just attach them both together on a on 
on an acrylic block if you want to use them together. Love it. And I'm going to use some greens for this, I think. I'm just gonna grab a stronger magnet. And um, the new one from Catherine Puller is going to be the one that I choose. Not Cranberry Fizz, what is it called? Deck the Halls. Am I going to go for that? No, actually, maybe I'm not. Let's go for, let's go for the red. Let's go for Cranberry Fizz. Will I? I'm, I'm thinking about doing a, a dark blue sky. That's why I'm going, mm, will I, will I not? All right, let's remember where this is. And I remember it by putting a bit of tape on it. So it's right here. And I might end up embossing it. So let's first of all ink this up so that I have um, a nice blue sky coming down here. Becky says, I'm allergic to pine, so we now have an artificial tree. <laughs> yes, that was our concern with Piper because she's allergic to like all the things. So, We thought that it wasn't really worth the risk. I'm going to try my Simon Says stamp. I'm going to go for blue violet. I'm not sure how it's going to work on this card. I've not used this ink in a, such a long time. But we'll give it a go. And I'm going to use one of my scrapbook.com domes. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is the Happy Doodle cardstock, the eight and a half by 11 cardstock that I'm using. really hard to hold <laughs> with my thumb. I've always been like such a wimp complaining about a slight cut in my thumb. Blending really nicely. And the color is beautiful. Oh, a bit of a smudge there. I'm 
I'm going to go with a real light hand now to do this lower section. If I can try and get some sort of a fade to white. I'd rather do a light hand and come back over the top of it than to push too heavy and ruin the effect. Now there's some areas that are looking, well, I guess a bit patchy, but I'm not too worried about that because I want it to kind of look like a night sky. And I'm going to spritz it with some water. And also sprinkle it with some Copic opaque white ink to make it look like snowflakes. And snowdrops, snowflakes, snowflakes. Snow, make it look like falling snow. <laughs> All right, so that's blue violet. Let me grab a wipey to wipe this up. There we go. Loving it, loving it. I'm going to spritz it with some water. I'll just grab a paper towel. Can't find the hand. Now the amount that the ink reacts will depend on the card, the ink, etc. I can't really remember how much the Simon ink reacts, to be honest. It might not react much at all. Which I think is probably the case. I'll give it another couple of splashes and just leave it. Leave it to think about life. Now I will go in with my opaque white ink. However, it will stamp very well on that with my, um, if I want to emboss on top of this, if any specks, it'll, the ink won't really stick very well to it. So I'll probably do that after, I'll do that last. So, that means we're going to emboss. I want to get this, first of all, nice and dry. Make sure my ink isn't wet still. Otherwise, all my embossing powder will stick to that. I'll use my powder tool to add some powder and then bring back my bring back my misty and I have my little piece of um, heavy memo tape here to remind me where I lined up the bottom of my card. It will not matter if it's out by a, a millimeter or two, but it does give us a good guideline. If you're doing a lot of the same, especially things like wedding invitations, etc., um, I recommend that you just 
either use a sharpie or something that's, that you can clean off with like an alcohol wipe or something when you're completely done with it. But it's not going to fall off in the meantime. I'm gonna go again, it looks like the S on my sending. Doesn't look uber clear. It's a holly jolly Christmas. <laughs> Let's find my super fine bright white. will emboss beautifully. So definitely we had an area here which had some residual dampness or something on it, but that's fine. We can just wipe that away with a soft brush. You don't have to worry too much about spare flex because we want it to look Christmassy and we're going to add snow. Oops. So white flex equals snow. We'll get away with that. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you on mute while I emboss this. Be right the back. It's so fun. Embossing is the best. So much fun. All right, let's get splattering. This is my makeshift splatter box. Still doesn't particularly keep things as contained as I would like it, but it's the best I can do normally. So I'm going to grab my uh, Copic Opaque White ink. And I'll start by giving it a little spritz with some water just to help reactivate that leave it for a second and I'll also spritz my brush to loosen it up oops timber <laughs> And 
splatter, splatter, splatter. Um, I've tried lots of different things for creating a snow effect, and this is definitely the one that I think creates the whitest look. I definitely need to write some Christmas cards this weekend. I have been a bit rubbish this year so far, but we've had other things on our mind with the house move and everything. It's been a nightmare. So for those of you who are wanting an update, um, everything was going well this week and we were in constant contact with our buyers, the people buying this house. And yeah, everything was going really well and we were super happy. And then we got an email from the solicitor. Oh, ouch. Uh, in regards to buying the house in Scotland. And they basically said that the people who currently own the house have decided that they've waited long enough and if we don't have a date of entry confirmed by the 22nd of December, then they no longer want to sell us the house which is just awful um, and caused me to panic to no end because we've had such a streak of being unlucky, I guess. Um, we've had to work so hard and we have, we have had to jump through hoops. And also we've absolutely gone as fast as we could, but Everything's delayed due to COVID, blah, blah, blah. It's been a right old nightmare. All right, time to get your tree in the back, little guys. Here we go. So cute. Oh, I've managed to smudge that. Oh, I love it. It looks so cool. I'm loving it. So let's add this to some foam. So of course we had a little panic and we spoke to our solicitors who basically said that they're going to do everything in their power to um, tell the, the sellers that when we've come so far and we're so close, they would be absolutely silly to pull out now because we're so close. But who knows? We shall see. We shall see. I'm trying not to think about it, to be honest, because I just get upset. <laughs> and I was talking to one of my friends the other day, and they um, saw a house in Halloween. No, in September, and then they were in it by Halloween. And... It's, ju it's just so, I I'm totally jealous. I was just like, 
I just want to be mad at them because <laughs> they get to do the thing that I want to do, but hey ho, jealousy is not a good color on me. <laughs> Sarah says, wowzers, after all the waiting, etc., you guys are more than due some good luck. I agree. It's been a big poop. Did a lot of work out, did a lot of work out, did a lot of work out. Everybody fingers crossed, please. All right, let's get my sentiments back before they get losted. It's so blooming unfair, I know, I know. The thing is that's frustrating is obviously we, with us selling our house, it's through an online system called Purple Bricks. And Purple Bricks, you communicate directly with the person who is buying your house. So with them, it's been very easy and it's very, well, I guess it's probably just, well, so far it seems very easy, but it is, um, there's a direct communication So there's that, that has helped. And um, but with the house that we are buying, we have to go through our solicitors and then go th that goes to their solicitors. So even though we've been very upfront and honest and been really communicative, we're communicative with our solicitors. So I don't know how much of that gets passed on down. I've taken a black glaze pen and I add a little bit of the glaze to the puppy dog's nose just to help kind of make it pop, makes it a real dark, dark black and a little bit shiny in true doggo nose style. And I'm also doing the glaze pen on the wheels. I think it's super cool. I'm gonna add a few little kind of plus signs to the sky. It's just to kind of give the illusion of stars. Using the gel pen. I love it. And I'm going to round the corners using a small rounded edge. I think it's really cute. I'm going to call that one done. Sarah Louis says we've got all fingers, toes, arms, legs, and everything crossed for you all. Oh, thank you so much. There we go, we've got sending Christmas hugs. I might add some sequins or something later, but I think it turned out really cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> Adorbs. All right, so I think that was a pretty cool and successful um, stamp roulette. So let's do another one. My thumb is throbbing and my back's a bit peaky, so I'll probably only have time to do one more card. But let's see what it'll be. So everybody, stamp roulette, please write down or offer a suggestion of a number between one and 60 with the letter L in front of it for a large stamp set and a number between one and 60 for a small stamp set. Um, and we don't have to have both a, a small and a and a large, what was S5? Did we do that one? Oh yes, it was the hugs. So we've done these. 
So please shout out while I do a tidy, a little tidy up here. We are doing a collaboration over on the Heather Doodle site this week with um, Miss Ink Stamps. And I got very excited because I got a little letter in the post to say that I needed to pay customs. And I was like, I don't understand what that is. And when I went to put it in, it was the my package from Miss Ink Stamps. And I thought, oh, if it arrives today, I could use it tonight. But it didn't arrive today. Boo. All right. So we have quite a few here. L19, L44, S44, S3, and L26. Okay, cool. I'm going to start with L19 and see where that takes me. Actually, it's the Peekaboo Pals that I was using earlier, but that's cool. L44, 20, 21, 44. And uh, S44 as well. Was there two 44s? There was S44. Let's see. See if we can push it a bit more. S3. Oh, it's going to get risky. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I can work with this because we can have a critter. We could have um, a paw print or a like rough meow, whatever. Um, maybe the hello or one or a party hat could go for party hat. And then we could have either the airplane or use the sentiment. Or we could put the little smiley face on the mug. That works. I think that looks cool. Let's let's see if we can just push the boat and see what L26 is. Crazy. So I have the Gerda Steiner Designs stamp set uh, Alien Invasion. Now the good thing is this has got, oh, this has got a world and it's got a world that could work. I was going to say the good thing is this has got stars. So, <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. You have to use a critter on that, but I kind of like the idea of having a critter. Why not? Rough Meow and Tweet don't have any uh, roughers, meowers, or tweeters over here, but we do have paws, so that's cute, I think. Or we use the the speech of the bubbles. I like the world. You color my world. We could do that. What if we did? A world let me get a card Let's see if we can create something here do the world and we had you color
color my world. Oh, and obviously I must have picked, the, chopped off the R in order to put in a U at some point. Color my world. Ooh, the other thing is we could totally have a an alien, a spaceship, and a critter in the spaceship, right? I don't know which one we could have because they're all a bit on the big side, probably. Their ears won't quite fit in, I don't think. Which is a shame, a real shame. I think the um I think the koala is this is the one that would fit uh, like almost fit. But maybe if we're talking about the world we shouldn't have an alien ship. So let's see. Hi, Debbie. Welcome, welcome. So we could have you color my world. And we could have... We could even use the little airplane, couldn't we? So I've, I've used the world from this one. So that one's done. I've used the color my world from this one. So I've used that one. So I've still got a few to do. We do have stars, though. So that's not terrible. Oh, this is hard if we're not doing a critter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so I think we're going to have to redesign. We're going to need a frame. I think we do a frame, and I think we do a critter. So you guys tell me which critter you want. Um Oh, um, so koala, uh, Stellar Pam says the koala looks good enough. That could work. The sloth of a koala, um, the cat and the dog in a spaceship, that could actually work. They're kind of small enough, I think. We could do a kitty cat in a spaceship, and then we just use stars from that one. Little kitty. In the spaceship. And then what if we did like masking coming down like this and then we inked up the background with some stars. I don't have one of these though. don't think that would fit on there unless we just randomly put a flag somewhere <laughs> or I give myself a break <laughs> okay let's see how we go with this I'm going to stamp these straight onto here using my misty and we'll see how it turns out. If need be, we can put a panel over the top. That blah bunny set makes me laugh right out loud, says Suzanne. It is so funny.
so we can even see. Where I've cut, across, I cut out the word colour, I'm going to mush together the word colour and then put in my world. Pick those up and then add the world U. There we go. I'm not stamping the kitty just yet. But I'm going to stamp this using uh, I guess I better stamp it in Memento because I'm probably going to end up using Copics on here. So I'm then going to take a piece of heavy memo tape just so I can get this bottom edge here. And I'm going to attempt to just score along there without going down into the card and that means it's exactly where it needs to be. And I'll put my kitty on there. Looks good already. Can't wait to see how this turns out, says Marcy. Me too. Awesome. So that means I've used my Say What Pets and I've used my Earthlings, whatever it's called, Alien Invasion. And I've used my Color My, uh, You Color My World. So let's this back where it belongs. So now I have Peekaboo Pals and Blah Bunny. Love him, love him so much. All right. So I'm thinking we want to have like a beam of light coming out from here and maybe stopping short just a little bit from the edge of there. Oh, actually, so one thing we could do either we have the sky dark and have this white and then color our world in a rainbow or we block out the light panel and it stays white not no the other way around so we we um block out this side and then add almost like a rainbow effect in here. That might be cool. But then we don't have a sky, but we could stamp some stars maybe. Ooh, options. 
think I might do that. Oh, that's short, silly girl. Luckily, I already have one of these to cover the base of my spaceship. I will, however, need to get my math back out. Background black. Oh, okay, so we want the other way around. Yeah, we can do that. We can do the black around the back. But we'll need to do it. We'll need to do it this other way around then. like a saw and I will need to properly stamp my little spaceship to use as a mask. When I, the, I was young, says Marthy, I actually saw a movie called The Cat from Outer Space. It was a Disney movie. Oh, cool. Is this giving you some nostalgic vibes? Do you remember the storyline? I'm sure it was total cheese. out of the memo tape and add on here and then we're going to color this in um, so for the, in the interest of time I'm going to use stress oxides because they're nice and juicy gooshy juicy gooshy So that's black soot. And I'm also going to use a little bit of chip sapphire. Which helps just give it a little bit more depth there. Very cheesy from the late 70s. Ah, oh, amazing. That would totally be cheesy. I don't feel like Disney seem to make as many of those straight to TV kind of <laughs> movies anymore. Well, I guess they were called what straight to DVD, but then DVDs aren't really all that these days either. I was having this conversation with Charlotte 
and my friend Charlotte, who brought her daughter, um, or was thinking of buying her daughter anyway, a CD, a, a music CD for Christmas. And I said, I would never even think of buying a CD purely because like we don't have a we don't have a CD player. I've got a CD player in my car. Yes, I've got a CD player in my car. But um, apart from that, my laptop doesn't have a CD drive. You could, I suppose, you could play a CD in the Xbox. But I said I wouldn't even think of that these days. Right. Add some stars. We have my opaque white ink again. It's been a splattery kind of night tonight. Wash off my little brushy brush brush. Make star splatters while you have taped it. What does that mean? Make star splatters while you've taped it. I don't think my brain can compute what you're trying to say. I can clarify. Okay, we've done those three. So we now have this one. And this one. And I think we're just going to go for stars on this one. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to achieve very much else, to be honest. But that's okay. This is the real challenge. Hmm. Come on, guys. Ah, you mean this? these? Okay, great. So I already did what... We were thinking alike, obviously. All right, so color my world, and we have my cute little kitty, and let's color kitty, kitty, kitty in. And I'm using Y00. Go around the kitty just to kind of give the impression of a glow, but I'm totally leaving an edge because it helps with the illusion of um, a sheen on the outside of our little doodar. And I'm going to color in the world in rainbow. So I'm going to, I mean, it's not going to take a lot because it's going to be tiny. So I need a, a Roy G. Biv, as you guys would call it. And it would be, okay. So green is in the middle. So I'm going to start with green and work my way out. And hopefully I'll have... some sort of a semi-even. too dark. Thank you. 
And I'll need a lalo. And an orange. And of course a red. There you go. Love it. What is the white ink you used for the star, says Marcy? It is called Copic Opaque White Ink. And it comes in a little jar like this. And it's expensive, but I wish they sold them in like tiny jars because I've had this for years and it barely looks like there's been a dent in it at all. But I guess a lot of people use them for lettering, so they're writing a lot more with it and using it through some. Let's see. Oh, I thought I had smudged that there for a second. What color should we make our ship then, guys? Should we go for... Should we go for red, blue, green? What do you guys think? What should we go for? Oh, Candy says, what about the little steam coming out of the ship? I'm not opposed to that. We could give them that. Hmm. I do you feel like the flag is probably the one that is the most versatile. But it will be totally placed randomly. We could have the steam coming out. I think it's a little bit close. We could have steam coming out the side. We could have a little, um, almost like a movement line to the side. We could try that. Give that a go. I have a smaller bottle of the Copic Opaque White. It looks right nail price. Oh, well, well, well then maybe they do have that now. That would be awesome. That's cool. So what color should we make our spaceship? Should we go for red maybe? We'll try red anyway. I like how white and opaque it is. Yes, me too. Makes a massive difference, I think. Where's 
bit of my C7, oh, sorry, the oh, W7, not C7, on C. I'm going to blend this out. Let's get the red, or I get really uh, bleedy, my bleedy pants, so um, I'm not going to do it too much. I think already I'm going to need to put something on the inside of the card just to... cover any bleed through. But that's fine. And we'll go for a dark blue undercarriage. Right, we need our little, our little guy, our little kitty kitty. I think, where is that color that I love for kitties? Why are 20? The wild weaving, I don't think it is wild weaving. Why else would be seven maybe? This one is called Yellowish Shade. Come on. Thought you'd be a bit more adventurous with your naming. What is this one? Oh, no, that's not Henry I want. Ha! Why are 23? And I'll use my yellow shade to blend it out a wee bit. And I'll keep his little muzzle nice and white. I'm going to give him a tiny little pink nose. You made the pink cheekies. All right, I'm loving this. So we could do a little movement here. I don't know how this is totally going to work out. I'm going to try and put my opaque white ink onto my stamp. Oh, yes. Okay. Probably not good for my stamp. But I've used my stamp now. Only because most of the white inks I have don't really work. And then the only one that does seem to work is my uh, stays on. But I haven't used it in so long. I'm going to need to reapply the ink to it. So I'm not doing that. All right. So we're down to the last ink uh, stamp set. And I'm going to grab some stars and a couple of colors. And I'm going to stamp little stars in the sky. In 
some of my rainbow colors. Hey, doggo. Hey, baby. How you doing? You getting up? I'm nearly finished. Come on, honey. Good boy. So let's get maybe a purpley kind of color. What have I got? Sweet 16 would work. Grr. If you hear that grumbling, that is my crazy dog <laughs> grumbling. for this slightly bigger I, I picked pixie dust instead and instead of doing stars for the other the other colors I'm going to do just a little little dot I think so I'm going to do red and orange and yellow I've done green and green. And I've done purple maybe just a little sort of a pink tone like so to bring in those rainbow tones. Ah, Rangers here, yes. All right, let's give this kitty dark eyes using my glaze pen. And guys, I think that is another stamp roulette. Done, done, done. Woohoo! So let's have a look at what we've ended up with tonight. Two stamp roulette cards. And the last one was using quite a few. I think I was there five. I think it looks really cool and it turned out awesome. And I don't think I would have ever had an idea to do something like that if it wasn't for Stamp Roulette. <laughs> I am going to love you guys and leave you now. And go, I've got laundry to do. My back's a bit sore. My thumb is, well, it's covered in ink. So that's probably not good. And it's split open a wee bit. So I need to go clean it out and get myself sorted. But thank you so much for joining us. Um, like I said, we have a collaboration coming up next week with Miss Ink Stamps. Please come on over to the Heffy Doodle blog to um, make sure that you check out all the wonderful inspiration over there. Thank you so much. I'm going to sign off now. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.